Okay, for the uh, the cargo net knots, I'm going to use two different color ropes, two different sizes, and I'm going to do going to do this specifically so you can see the difference between um, the knots. If I use all the same thing, it's going to be harder to tell. So <clears throat> basically, the way I have this set up is uh, we use the sizzle as the horizontal strand and the manila as kind of the vertical strand. And the knots are super easy. Um, now that I've done what uh, over a hundred of them, uh, they seem to work out. The biggest thing you have to make sure is that you pull really tight. What I ended up doing is using my feet to hold the distal part. So I'll put one foot here and one foot over here. And then I'll use my hands to pull the other parts. And that gives me the ability to pull all four sides at the same time really hard to get the really tight knots uh, so the birds can't get into them. And uh, what I did for the perimeter, the surrounding edges, is I put a dab of hot glue on the inside of the knot, not on the outside, so they have to chew through the whole darn knot to get to glue. And by the time that happens, I'll be there to see, you know, and stop them from doing it and replace the, the strand that's damaged. Uh, again, the biggest thing I, that I have to say is do not let your birds play on rope toys or any, any devices like this without constant supervision. For me, I'm a disabled veteran. My birds are only out of the cage when I'm home and they're always in the same room as me. Um, I, I don't mind that they squawk when I leave the room as long as they don't squawk when I leave the room as they're in the cage. So again, don't leave your birds unsupervised when you have something of this magnitude because they can get their feet caught, uh, they can they can choke on the, on the rope, they can hang themselves. There's a lot of things that can happen. So I personally use this because I am always here. So keep that in mind. I just want to put that disclaimer out there so people don't think that this is something that you know, you're know you doing without risk. There's a risk, but you minimize that by being home. So again, back to the knots. So what I'll do is, um, it, it's really easy. Uh, for the horizontal section, I'll just take and pinch a loop. So again, I just went made a big loop. Uh, and I'll take the, the vertical section, put it through the loop, and then the part where you have two layers, because you know you have only one strand up here, and the part where there's two strands on the bottom here, um, hard to see with my fingers. Ah. But you can see there's there's one and two. Uh, run it underneath there. So the rope would stay there. I would hold this with my feet, but I don't think you guys want to see my feet in the video. So. When you have the same size rope, it's a lot easier to do. Um, basically, I'll, I'll do this again. So, and I'm not gonna rerun the video because I don't wanna do that disclaimer again. So we'll use my dog bowl as a weight to kind of hold it. And maybe that'll make things easier. So again, take, take the one rope, whichever one you want it to be, make a loop, run the rope going the opposite direction through don't let your cats play with it. And then back through the loop again. So the, the adjacent rope is going to go through twice. So you have, it's doing the exact same thing. It's making one loop that looks just like the, the horizontal one. Uh, pull each one tight. And as you pull each one tight, it just makes it that much easier. And that's pretty much it.